Hi guys, this is Yurina from Above All Service and today I'd like to share with you four reasons why your life sucks. Now, I hope it doesn't because I don't believe mine does. Actually, I know that mine doesn't. So um, let's get right into it. Four reasons. Now, if you find that you are doing any of those four, just please stop it. Number one. Number one reason is, are you comparing yourself to others? How does she look? Ooh, has she put on weight? Am I, how am I going? What am I wearing? Uh, have we, you know, how is our home compared to this? Uh, do our children look okay? Please stop it. The only one that's worthwhile comparing yourself to is you. Just look at yourself. Every year, maybe at the same time, around your birthday or so, when, when you know, you're feeling really happy, um, just ask yourself, hey, am I a better person than I was last year at the same time? Have I grown? Have I learned something incredibly valuable that I have applied in my life? Have I grown? Have I moved forward? Because successful people will tell you that if you're not moving forward, you are going backwards. If it's in business, if it's in uh, growth, spiritually, financially, mentally, emotionally, you will go backwards if you are not going forwards. There is no, I know it all now and I'll stay where I am. No, you will go backwards. So please, don't compare yourself to anybody else. They're not worth it. You are worth it. Okay, that's number one. Number two, winch. Why? Oh, why me? Why is this happening? It's always me and you know, this isn't working and oh, I had enough and I am so, you know the word, I'm not even going to say it because I'm not. I like to say I am fed up with things, but I'm not allowing my physical body to suffer because I'm just annoyed with something, if you know what I mean. So, whinging and whining isn't going to fix anything. Whinging and whining isn't going to even make you feel better. Whinging and whining, nobody wants to hear it. I mean, even friends say, you know, politely, yeah, okay, da, da, da. But you know what? They've got their own problems. So, you know what? You can ask for uh, a listening ear just to voice yourself, just to get it out of the system and then acknowledge, hey, now that I have it out of my system, you know, let's get on with it, okay? But whinging and whining without doing anything about it, not good. Whinge and whine and finish off with, okay, and because of that, this is what I'm going to do about it, okay? Finish on a positive note. All right, that was number two. Number three, Yes, there's nothing wrong with feeling, you know, you are somebody. You are somebody. You are special. You have worth. You have value. But you know what? Don't be too proud to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. It's not a weakness. And you know what? Everyone, most people, your friends, your family, they're all really happy to help. Because you know what? It could be them in your shoes. And maybe one day they will be in your shoes. So please do ask for help. And people love to help wherever they can. If people can't help, they won't. And that's okay. But you know what? People most of the time will find a way to help. So allow yourself, humble yourself to ask for help when you need it. Okay, that was number three. Now, how about worrying about what people might think of you? It's quite close to um, maybe the first one. But you know what? It really isn't. Because what people might think of you is really none of your business. You have enough to do with what you're thinking of yourself and keeping yourself above uh, the, you know, the ground sort of a thing. So why would you worry about what other people think of you? 
Because you know what? And usually, again, I've read that in some sort of a great book, people don't think of you because they're too busy thinking about themselves. Like, how do I look? How do I feel? You know, is this looking right? Etc. Etc. You know, people think, most of the people think, it's all about me. But you know what? It's not. It's not all about me. And we think that, you know, everyone's thinking about me. No, they actually don't. So, if you worry about what people think about you, stop it. Just tell yourself what a great person you are. Tell yourself the strengths you have. Tell yourself how much love you can give. Tell yourself you are awesome and you are. You know what? And whatever thinks of you doesn't matter because you should know better. You should know who you are and you should know whose you are. You should know your value, your worth. So... All these sticks and stones don't hurt my bones, but words can really hurt me. Yeah, 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 words can hurt. You know what? But if you know who you are and you have belief and confidence in yourself, knowing, hey, I'm not perfect, and that's okay, you'll do great. You know what? Just those four reasons alone can change your whole life. So I hope this has helped somebody. Um, look, just decide you want to be a better you, a happier you, and start with those four reasons, and um, you'll do great. And I'll talk to you soon.